Creating a consistent AI influencer used to be nearly impossible. You'd generate one image that looked perfect, then the next would look like a completely different person. But I found a way to create AI influencers that look identical in every single pose, story, and video you make with them. I've been testing this method for weeks, and the results are honestly incredible. You can build an entire social media presence around a character that never changes, never ages, and can be in any location or situation you want. And you can do this with just one reference image. Today, I'm going to walk you through the exact process I use to create consistent AI influencers that maintain their appearance across unlimited content. We'll be using OpenArt, which after testing dozens of platforms, gives the most consistent results by far. By the way, if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link for OpenArt in the description below. People often overlook the same crucial pitfalls when creating AI influencers. They'll generate a character they love, then try to recreate that same person by typing the same prompt over and over. But here's the issue. Standard AI models don't have memory. Each generation generation starts completely from scratch. So you end up with someone who has blonde hair in one image, brown hair in the next, and completely different facial features in the third. It's like asking for the same person and getting their distant cousins instead. OpenArt solves this with their consistent character technology. Unlike standard AI generators that treat each prompt as a new creation, OpenArt creates a specialized model just for your character. It identifies and locks in the key features that make your influencer unique. Their face shape, eye color, hairstyle, even signature signature outfits. Let me show you exactly how this works. First, head over to open art and hover over the character drop down. You'll see this in the main menu. Click on create character. Now you've got three options for creating your influencer. Option one is starting with just a text description. This is perfect if you have a clear vision, but no reference images. You'd write something like a 25 year old fitness influencer with long blonde hair, athletic build, wearing workout clothes, bright smile, professional photography style. Option two, which I personally use most often, is starting with a single reference reference image. This is incredibly powerful because most AI tools require multiple images to train a character, but OpenArt only needs one. Option three is using multiple images if you have them, which gives maximum control and consistency. For this tutorial, I'll use the single image method as it's the most practical option for most users. Now, when creating Maya's foundation image, I use OpenArt's Flux development model because it produces the most realistic facial structures and natural lighting. This is crucial. If you use a generic model like SDXL, here, you'll get what I call the plastic doll effect. The result might pass at a glance, but when you start building multi-angle views or training a model, those artificial flaws compound. My go-to way to start a prompt is with photo of, as it helps set the tone right away. My prompt for Maya's foundation image was photo of Maya in soft natural lighting captured during golden hour. She has sun-kissed skin with a healthy athletic glow. Her shoulder length blonde hair is styled in a high ponytail with natural texture. Her bright blue eyes are vivid and confident, framed by natural long lashes. She has defined cheekbones and a warm motivational smile. Maya's athletic build shows toned arms and shoulders. She's wearing a neutral colored sports bra and matching leggings with small gold stud earrings completing her look. I set the prompt adherence to 2.5, which might seem backwards, but lower adherence actually helps avoid that fake plastic look that screams AI generated. When adherence is too high, like 7 or 8, the AI becomes rigid, obsessing over every word in your prompt. At 2.5, you get the sweet spot, enough structure to follow your vision, but enough flexibility for realism. I'm going to upload this image of Maya, who I want to turn into a consistent fitness influencer. She's got that perfect Instagram aesthetic, athletic, approachable, and photogenic look. Click start with one image, then upload your reference photo. Give your character a name. I'll call her Maya. This name is essential as you'll include it in every prompt to instruct open art which character to generate. Now click create character and wait about five to 10 minutes for the processing. During this time, open art is analyzing every detail of Maya's appearance and creating a specialized model that can reproduce her features consistently. And there we go. Maya's character model is now ready. This is where things get exciting because now I have a reusable asset that I can use to create unlimited content. Now let's create some influencer content. Click create with your character and you'll see the generation interface. The key here is always starting your prompt with your character's name. I'll type Maya doing yoga on a beach at sunrise. Peaceful expression, athletic wear, golden hour lighting, Instagram style photography. Look at this result. Maya looks exactly like our reference image, but now she's in a completely different setting. Her facial features, hair, and overall appearance are identical. Let me show you the power of this by creating multiple pieces of content. I'll generate Maya in different scenarios. Maya at a coffee shop, casual outfit, natural lighting, lifestyle photography. Maya is training intensely in a modern gym, wearing sleek form-fitting workout clothes. She has a determined look on her face and is captured in an energetic, powerful motion. Her pose reflects strength and precision. The scene shows her mid 
mid-workout, highlighting muscle tension and control. Maya hiking in the mountains, outdoor gear, scenic background, adventure photography. Each of these maintains Maya's exact appearance while placing her in different contexts. This is exactly what you need for a consistent influencer presence. There are some key settings that will dramatically improve your results. First is the character weight slider. I keep this at 0.8 or 0.9 for maximum consistency. This tells the AI to prioritize Maya's features over other elements in the prompt. Next is the preserve key features toggle. When this is on, Maya will always appear in similar clothing to her reference image. Turn it off if you want to change her outfits while keeping her face consistent. Let me demonstrate this. With the toggle on, I'll prompt Maya in formal business attire. Even though I specified business clothes, she still appears in athletic wear because the AI is preserving her original style. Now I'll turn the toggle off and use the same prompt. This time Maya appears in professional business attire while maintaining her facial features perfectly. For influencer content, you often need specific poses. Open Arts Pose Editor is perfect for this. Click Pose Reference and then click Open Pose Editor and you'll get access to a 3D model you can manipulate. I'll select the athletic female model since Maya has an athletic build. Let's create a classic fitness influencer pose. I'll adjust the arms to show her flexing with a confident stance. I can rotate the camera to check the pose from different angles, making sure it looks natural. Once I'm satisfied, I'll click update pose. Now I'll generate Maya with this custom pose. Maya showing her fitness progress, confident expression, gym setting, motivational lighting, Instagram fitness post style. Perfect. Maya appears in exactly the pose I designed, maintaining her consistent appearance. The real power comes from creating a diverse content library. I can generate Maya in dozens of different scenarios. Every piece of content showcases the same character, helping build a consistent brand identity that resonates with followers. Sometimes you'll want to make small adjustments to your generated images. Open Art has powerful editing tools for this. If Maya's face isn't as detailed as I'd like, I can use the Enhance Face option. I'll draw a mask over her face and the AI will improve the facial details while maintaining her identity. For fixing common AI issues like weird hands, there's a correct hands tool that specifically addresses hand anatomy problems. If I want to change her facial expression, I can use the change facial expression feature. I'll choose the preset wink and the AI will adjust just her expression while keeping everything else identical. Open Art integrates with Kling 2.1 to create videos of your AI influencer. I'll select one of Maya's workout images and click image to video at the top. Now I'll write a prompt describing the movement I want. Maya performing bicep curls with dumbbells, smooth repetitive motion, gym lighting, professional fitness video quality. And look at this result. Maya is now moving naturally, performing the exercise with realistic motion. This opens up possibilities for workout tutorials, exercise demonstrations, and dynamic social media content. So now you know how to create a consistent AI influencer that maintains their appearance across unlimited content. And with open art, you can build an entire social media presence around a character that never changes, never ages, and can be in any situation you want. If you want to start creating your own AI influencer, Influencer Empire. I'll leave a link for you in the description below.